Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Combo box controls allow you to create drop down menus from which your users can select a choice in order to create an entry within a field. The choices available in the combo box menu can come from a table or query, or you can type your own list of values from which the users can select. These controls can reduce the amount of data entry error within a field by limiting the range of data entry choices. If you created a lookup field within your access tables, you will notice that these types of fields are automatically displayed in the forms as combo box controls when you add them from the field list. To add a combo box control to a form, open the form or report in Design View. Next, click the combo box button that appears in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Next, click and drag over the area within the form where you want to place the combo box. As long as you have the Use Controls Wizard button selected in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon when you create the combo box control, a combo box wizard will then appear to guide you through the rest of the process of creating the combo box control. Simply answer the questions posed to you by the wizard for each screen and click Next until you're done. Note that a combo box can get the values from another table or query. You can type in values that you want, or alternately you can find a record within a form based on the value you choose from a combo box, so it can act as a lookup sort of tool. So choose the option that you want and click Next. You can then select what you would like to see as far as the fields within a combo box. and then click Finish when you're done to create the desired combo box control within the form. Note that combo boxes are almost always used exclusively by forms and not by reports, as reports are read-only, and you often will use the combo box to update values in an underlying data source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.